So that's why when you want to send things from Abuja to Nigeria and you reach out to me, I, the importer, will tell you, we do not accept food items. We do not accept drugs. Food items and drugs is not accepted because... Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Ratchet the YouTuber. I'm always super excited anytime I come to your screen. And on today's video, guys, I'm going to be talking about how the Turkish customs here in the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus seized my food stuff. Why they seized my food stuff? What I did wrongly so that you won't make these mistakes or you won't fall victims of this sadness because it was really really sad i like this is thousands of my country's currency that were just wasted in vain so i'm going to be telling you about what exactly went down and things you should avoid and things you shouldn't do or how to do it right and not to make the same mistakes that i made and not to lose um the full stuff that your parents will take their time to buy and package for you okay before i say too much about today's video please don't forget to like this video don't forget to comment ask your questions and subscribe in case you're yet so guys, food items in the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus is really, really expensive. And if you want to buy the beverages we have in our country, home beverages like Milo, beverages like milk, Goldie Mon, um, or just get food stuff like sardine, all that things, all those things that we have in our country home, if you want to buy it here on the island, it's really, really expensive. Like, it's so, so expensive that if you calculate this money, you feel like, oh, you should just go back home, like, take a ticket and just go home and rest because it's it's a whole lot on us. And these African stores are not helping. I do not blame them because um, shipping costs is really, really on the high side. Um, sending things to the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus will cost you a whole lot. So sometimes I do not blame blame them fully for, for the increment or for the prices. Um, so I contacted my mom and I told her that oh, I needed uh, food items. And she was like, she would package some things for me, she would buy me stuff. So my mom usually buy our, our beverages. Or let me say our cereals in large quantity back home. You know the normal golden one size, like um golden one is a cereal, like this one kg cereal size, one kg golden one. My mom did not buy that. Conflex one kg, she doesn't do that. It's all this conflex and golden one that comes in bags that she usually buy. So she now has like fed from these bigger ones and put it like in a transparent pack for me. Um, I had complex, I had um golden one. I think I also had oatmeal, but they were all in this transparent. It's not like a zip lock, but it's a transparent leather that I could fold and it could easily um, lock. So she put this for me. She got me things like stockfish, um, okoroko, okbono, um, dry leaf, just things um, that I could use to prepare my country home soup. That was also put in a transparent leather, um, covered and put. Um, she also got me this, our local Nigerian black soup. And I know I said food stuff, but apart from food stuff, um, something else was being seen and I'll tell you what was that. Um, she also sent me this local Nigerian um, black soap and it was also seized. Now, this situation is really, really sad because this is money. And because of she was sending it from Nigeria to North Cyprus, it was seized. It was, you know, she, she sent it from Nigeria to North Cyprus, so she bought it in large quantities. And imagine those large quantities were seized in the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. So now the sad thing is, it's past Nigeria. They did not seize it. They said it was allowed. It passed Istanbul. Istanbul did not seize it. When it got to the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, when it comes, when it got to Egyptian International Airport, it was seized. Now the question is, Rachi, was this food item illegal? No, it wasn't. So what went wrong? Why was my item seized by the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus? Or is it because it came from my country? Or is it because it's coming from Africa? Some of these um, questions has been coming in, in my mind, and I'm yet to answer it. Now, the number one reason or the major reason why my item is, was seized is because these items were in a transparent bag. Um, it did not have importation dates. It did not have exportation dates. The immigration of, of site legit said is that it did not have importation dates. It did not have exportation dates. It did not have table of contact, um, no branding. Like, it should be a brand. It shouldn't just come like that. So, same thing with my complex, my cooker oats. If I wanted to bring cooker oats and um, complex, I wanted to bring oatmeal here. I should buy a brand that is packaged, that is sealed, and that, that could be tolerated, you understand? So I was like, okay, I did not know, and it was so sad because there was nothing I could do about it, because these items were already seized and gone. And I had like dry leaves that were put into these um, black plastic bags, and I wish it was like in a transparent, transparent plastic bag, it would have been more, more 
healthy or how like put it would have looked more sane it won't look so suspicious because imagine seeing leaves in a plastic bag it could look like weed it could look like something that's like illegal um but again i would like to say something guys i do bring things from nigeria to north cyprus like i do bring things from nigeria to north cyprus i import things from nigeria to north cyprus so all you have to do is to send your item to abuja then from abuja we'll send it to north cyprus so i'm saying this right now since i'm talking about customs i'm talking about immigration so that's why when you want to send things from abuja to nigeria and you reach out to me i the importer will tell you we do not accept food items we do not accept drugs food items and drugs is not accepted because the customs or the immigration officers as agent international airports are always against it the tendencies of them seizing it is very very high so we want to risk the items of our customers we want to risk the items of um, of our clients so we do not accept food stuff we do not accept drugs you can only send things like your electronics um your cream your your clothing your shoes what again those kind of things can go in and in case you're just wondering oh, what's right you're talking about but you want to bring something from nigeria to north cyprus then you should reach out to me on instagram at rachikoye or reach out to our official um cargo page i could write that down for you or you can email me i'll also write that down for you so in case you want to bring things from nigeria to north cyprus and you don't want them to be seized or you want to send things from north cyprus to nigeria reach out to me i am your plug don't worry about anything don't be stressed don't be scared um i got you covered on this so when it comes to food items and all these things we do not accept it because we don't want our customers to go through what i went through trust me it was really really sad i had to video it to show my mom I was like oh look at the things they were that were seized because the man allowed me seeds and i felt really bad i was like okay i won't allow any other person go through this burden or go through this sadness that was why i always write it down we do not accept food stuff and we do not accept drug items i feel like i've said a whole lot about um why my items were seized um i really don't know i really don't know okay let me say one more thing that just came to my mind i also feel like the customs do not accept food items from individuals through importation because they do not want to low-key like spoil the business going on on the island because there are some people that sell these things at the business and the stores and the shop so if everybody has their food stuff but if everybody has their food items i think the, the business will be a little bit poorer so they are trying to maintain that that market and they don't want it um off balance so i feel like that's one of the reasons why these items were seized and the other reasons are the other things that made me feel like that's the reason why it was seized doesn't even make sense to me. So I cannot say it on screen, but some of these things don't, don't even make sense at the end of the day. Since they are not um, illegal, they should be able to allow us to set our food, food items right. But it's sad that that's why the fact that these items are legal did not accept it on the island so guys i'm done saying so much about today's video please don't forget to like this video do not forget to comment ask your questions and subscribe in case you're yet to bye